but in terms of our interaction with some of our partners in Europe and elsewhere, there has been a sense of a patronizing bullying uh, toward you choose this or else. Uh, and uh, the recent uh, legislation passed in the United States of America uh, by the House of Representatives, we found a most unfortunate bill uh, that we'd hoped the media would say more about because uh, when we believe in freedom, as I'm saying, it's freedom for everybody. You can't say because Africa is doing this, you will then be punished by the United States. So uh, that's been a disappointing uh, uh, passage of legislation by one house, and we hope the other house will not agree to uh, such offensive legislation. Um, so indeed, uh, it is important that all of us accept our ability to hold different opinions. We are, after all, sovereign nations that are regarded as equal in terms of the United Nations Charter. We may differ in terms of economic uh, power and uh, economic ability to influence uh, development in different parts of the world, but what will make the world work is if we respect each other. Fundamentally, what African countries, African governments are trying to say and what Minister Pandor was trying to say is we have our own vision, we have our own plan for where we want to develop. What we want is for our partners to come along with us and not to kind of suggest that we must change our policies in order or, or, or to you know change our, the ways of our thinkings in order to partner together, but to find ways in which we do so constructively. And I think that I think that that's a very important message, and I hope that Americans will be watching uh, what Minister Pandor said and really understanding it because I think it's fundamental, very crucial.